Hallo und herzlich willkommen zur 80. Folge von Suzerain zusammen mit Apfel. Hallo. In letzter Folge hatten wir ein Meet Meeting, ein Interview. Und diese Folge haben wir mal wieder ein Essen zu Hause. Early morning at the rainy household. I woke up. Get least, meine Freunde mitnimmt. I woke up in the, in the morning as usual. I put on my clothes and went downstairs. I made a cup of finely grounded Swedish coffee and a slice of butter butter toast. Toast and sat down in front of the TV to watch the morning news. The phone rang. Pick up the phone. Das ist nicht gut. The operation operator said that it was Gloria Tory on the line. President, sorry for calling you directly, but this is important. I just received word that they started the impeachment process. Impeachment? An impeachment? To be frank... She took a deep breath in. We might be screwed. That's not good. Mm. They are citing a major scandal. I received a report and took notes. Here's what it says. President Rainey has bribed Alban Clavin with a check while the reform committee was in session. Ah, shit. President Rainey abused his powers to send his son, Frank Rainey, to Horsford State University. <clears throat> President Rainey has been in cahoots with the media mogul Marcel Coronti at Mr. Coronti's country club in Conrad. They struck a deal in which Mr. Coronti agreed to sway the media in favor of the president. Where is this? As part of the privatization process, President Rainey sold shares in a backroom deal to Marcel Coronti. The list goes on and on. We have not so many more mistakes. Where is he? We will defend ourselves and present the best case possible, of course, but it will be hard. Fuck. We need to stay optimistic. We may still have a chance. But for now, I will let you take it all in. Talk to you later. The line dropped dead. Ganz nicht sein. Ah, nice. Arbory ist das Lalia jetzt, oder? Ja. Das ist das Meeting, wo Lalia zurücktritt. Shit. Der historic Graph Manor lay on the outskirts of Arbory. At the end of a long winding drive, nearly two centuries old, it was a formid formidable as Lalia herself. Lydia had invited me here for a private dinner, just the two of us. I wasn't sure of her motivations, but was happy to have an excuse to escape the chaos back in Halsholt. Serge dropped me off at the door. I used the heavy brass door knocker to signal my arrival. The butler answered and showed me into the per parlor. Gas lanterns lent the wood paneled room a cozy orange lower. Lalia was sitting on the sofa. Above her hung a nearly life-size portrait of a sallow, unhappy-looking young woman in a lace ball gown. Oh god. Is that you? My mother, actually. I was her only child, you know, giving birth to me left her medically unable to conceive. My father never could forgive her for not bearing him a son, and she never forgave me. She took a massive sip of one of the two glasses of sparkling wine she was holding and handed me the other. Sounds like a painful childhood.
The silver spite personally despising me, they felt compelled to grant me all the advantages a son would have had, including the education I needed to rise to my current position. Nice story! Why am I here? Would you be so kind as to tell me why you invited me over? Given how your wife spends her time these days, I thought you might be in need of a home-cooked supper. The butler silently stepped into the parlor and rang a silver bell. Ah, speaking of which... She led me into the dining room, where a glittering chandelier hung from the high ceiling. Beneath it was a long table set for two. A woman in an apron and chef's head, Wessick by her appearance, ceremoniously presented a roast rag of venison. A home-cooked supper? Hmm? Okay, it smells delicious. delicious. Yeah. <laughs> The groundskeeper shot it this morning. Alia bowed her head and said a quick prayer, then motioned for me to dig in. It was some of the best meat I'd ever had. We ate in silence for a while, then Lilia pensively laid down her cut cutlery. Mr. President, I wish I had been consulted on this military parade decision. Is that really the best use of our time and resources, given the mounting unrest in this country? So, what song? Yeah. Schwierig. Wir haben sie ja diplomatisch ausgeredet, alles. Ja. Like I said. Ja, yeah, I've got it all under control. Ja. Yeah. Don't worry. Mir wird schon nichts yeah, passieren. Ja, wir machen das schon. For now. But now that you've shown you're willing to negotiate, these people will never be happy. I know what you think I should have done, but the police would only make a mess of things. What, you, what would you have me do? Shoot a lot of them? Yeah, eins. Uh, we have two stellen me you was. Yeah, true. Malia pursed her lips. Those scandal re... re the. Revelations about you are circulating in the government circles and might soon spread further out. Malia, all lies. Sind alles Lügen? Soll ich sagen? Well, what do you think I should do about that? Gut, wenn wir es vor ihr zugeben und die stellt sich dann auf die andere Seite und sie weiß es ja dann auch nicht gerne. Das stimmt schon. All lies. Alles Lügen. Maybe nicht alles, aber ein paar. <lacht> I'm sure they are. A strong leader would ignore the allegations and focus on winning the election. By all means necessary. Okay. Eins. Yeah. Thanks for everything you've done, Lilia. Lilia nodded. Anton, I wish you had made national security more of a top priority during your term. Yeah. Likewise, I wish you had heeded my request to place the Shanna Marie under my jurisdiction. 
And I regret that you gave to Miss Walder a mandated the teaching of that evolution nonsense in schools. Halt die Schnauze! <clears throat> Not to mention feeling the need to pump our children full of strange chemicals in response to some unconfirmed health threat. Hey, it's over here. Regardless, I'm looking forward to working more closely together during your next term. This is schön. God willing. Yeah. Alia raised her glass and smiled. We clinked glasses. By the end of the meal, I was pleasantly full and a little tipsy. The butler had to lead me back through the manor's winding <laughs> corridors until I found the door. I waved at Alia and the out, the win out the window as such pulled away. The coming campaign would be turbulent. But at least I had her on my side. Hallelujah! Oh, oh, so I hoped, but... Fuck! <laughs> okay, aber... Woo! Ich dachte, sie tritt es wirklich zurück. Was, was oh, so I hoped, hat sich an, es würde jetzt schon in der Vergangenheit reden, dass sie, dass sie doch nicht auf der Seite von uns war. Okay, nächste Folge haben die Militärparade, aber egal. Kommt morgen 14 Uhr. Lasst ein Like und Abo, wenn es euch gefallen hat. Schaut beim nächsten Mal vorbei. Und tschüss. Tschüss.